I've been getting some questions of my air filter system, so I'm changing it out. I'm going to do a video on it. Um, I got about 200 miles on my first one. And as you can see, it's getting kind of dirty. That's where the vent presses up against it. Pro Design, Pro Flow. Um, this is a slightly different design. So this one's open on the back, which works fine. But because it's not triple layered there, I was worried about it. Um, so I got a different design. That's the cage. I went with the 450R filter which you can't really see it, but it's red all the way to the back. So it's a full outer wrap instead of just like the outside. It's got the back part too. A little better filtration. Fits perfect. Um, so I'm running the 400EX aluminum insert, which was in the other video, and the 450R screen and filter element. Um, you can actually find it on eBay from ATV Galaxy. It's called the ProFlow 450R replacement foam, and it comes with the 450R cage. Uh, if, if anything, it fits even better on this bike, and as you can see, it takes up almost the whole airbox, which is just the best filtration you can get, right? Um, melting it is a little tricky. If you don't have one of these, it might be impossible. You use this to go in here and stretch the filter around the rubber. Um, but once you, have, once you have one of these tools from Harbor Freight, really easy. Um, not much harder to change than the stock filter. And that's gonna give you really good filtration. I don't know if you guys saw another video, I relocated the battery to down here, which you can't even see. But yep, so that's just the air filter change. Oh yeah, and I uh, always oil my filters with fuel filter oil, or fuel filter, fiber filter oil. Um, this is Bell Ray. I like the fiber, the foam works good too, but it's really, really tacky and it's kind of annoying. Um, the fiber seems to be wet enough for purposes of what kind of riding we do and it's a little higher flow yep